Hello friends! Today we are going to take another look at our alphabet book. This is the front cover, back cover, and the title. The title of this book is Alphabet Book and this is the spine. Now just like our big book of poems, this book also has a whole bunch of poems, but these poems are all alphabet poems. And when I open it up, I see the title page. That's just to remind you of the title in case you forgot. And when I turn the page again, I see a special place called the table of contents. The table of contents tells you where to find things. Today, we will be looking at two letter poems for the letters O and P. Before we look at them, let's talk a little bit more about those letters. Just like you and I have names, <laughs> letters have names too. And when we write our names, we use an uppercase letter. Each letter has both an uppercase and a lowercase. Now, before I write these letters down, I have something important to remind you of. This is the sky, the grass, and the ground. Remember, some letters start in the sky and some letters start in the, ground, uh, the grass. So today, friends, Let's start with our letter O. And O is very simple. I don't know if you know. For the letter O, you start in the sky, curve around, and back up. That is an uppercase O. For lowercase O, you start in the grass, curve around and all the way back up, just like that. This is the letter O. What do you notice about uppercase O and lowercase O? You're right, uppercase O is bigger, but they look exactly the same. They're both round like circles. All right, friends, let's look at our next letter. I'm going to write the letter P. For the letter P, you start in the sky, touch the ground, back to the sky, and curve around. That is an uppercase P. For lowercase P, you start in the grass, slide underground, back to the grass, and curve around. That is a lowercase p. Again, this is the letter p. What do you notice about uppercase p and lowercase p? You're right, uppercase p is, well, I don't know that it's bigger. I think actually they might be the exact same size and they even look alike. They both have a vertical line and a bubble, but Wait, something's different about lowercase p. It's doing something special. Well, it starts in the grass and then, and then it pokes underground, just like our letters G and J, except this one doesn't have a hook that digs. It just pokes straight down. Now, let's look at both letters. What do you notice? Well, they both have curved lines. Um, but uppercase P and lowercase P are different because they have a straight vertical line and O just curves all the way around. Now that we know a little bit about the letters O and P, let's read some poems about them. Let's start with the poem for our letter O. And remember, we can check the table of contents to see where we can find them. I see that the letter O will be on page 32 and that the letter P will be on page 34. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the poem for our letter O. And before we start, friends, let's make some observations. What do you notice about the illustrations on this page? What do you see? You might say, I see an octopus and, oh, my friends, that's an otter, just like our class. Hmm, where 
are they? Well, they're both sea creatures, so they must be underwater. And also, there's a whole bunch of sea creatures around them, so that tells me this is, this is definitely underwater. Hmm, what else do you see? Oh, it looks like they're eating something. I think, oh, I think these are olives. Um, and they're sitting on something. Oh, this is a seesaw or a teeter-totter. Um, let's see what else. What things do you see around them? Well, I see some seaweed and some starfish, some shells, um, an oyster maybe. There are even some jellyfish and some fish. Wow, we made a lot of really great observations. All right, I think we're ready to read our poem about the letter O. How often have you ever seen an octopus and otter eating olives off a plate while on a teeter-totter? Oh my goodness. That sure was a fun poem about things that start with the letter O. And it sure likes, looks like the otter and the octopus are having lots of fun together. I'm glad that they get along and that they share. Let's look at our poem for the letter P. And remember, before we read, it's always a good idea to make some observations. What do you notice? You might say, um, I see a plant and a panda, and it looks like the panda is sitting on some pillows while he's eating bamboo. Um, and there's um, a chef, and the chef has a hat and apron, and I can see that he's cooking. Oh, it looks like he's flipping a pancake so that it can go with the other stacks of pancake. And oh, there's some popcorn popping. Oh, wait, there's also a window, friends. What what do you see outside of the window? Oh, there's a little peacock and it looks like he's peeking into the window. Um, and, and a palm tree and some snow. All right, friends, That's, that sure is interesting. Let's read our poem and see what it's about. Let's pretend. Pop like popcorn, flip like pancakes. Sway like palm trees, fall like snowflakes, peep like peacocks, poof like pillows, chew like pandas, bend like rainbows. The end. <gasps> that was such a fun poem. Let's play a game. If you hear a word with this that makes the sound, I want you to pretend you're a little kernel of popcorn and you pop up. Are you ready? Let's pretend. Pop like popcorn, flip like pancakes, sway like palm trees, fall like snowflakes, peep like peacocks, poof like pillows, chew like pandas, bend like rainbows. The end. But you know what, my friends? I have an even more fun game, I think, because it says let's pretend, so I think we should pretend to be all the different things in this poem. Are you ready, friends? All right, let's pretend. Pop like popcorn. All right, let's pop like we're popcorn. Oh, you guys are good at being popcorn. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna flip like pancakes. Can you pretend you're flipping? We probably shouldn't flip, it's, that's not too safe in the home. Um, Sway like palm trees. So now you're pretending you're a tree and you're just swaying in the wind. Oh, you guys are good at being trees. Um, fall like snowflakes. And when snowflakes fall, they're very gentle. So we're gently falling like a snowflake. Oh, you guys are good. Peep like peacocks. Can you peep? Pretend you're looking. Poof like pillows. And then pretend you're just nice and fluffy. I'm just like a fluffy little pillow. Um, Chew like pandas and bend like rainbows. Okay, can you bend with me like a rainbow to side and then the other side? All right, let's bend, rainbows bend. You guys are good rainbows. You guys are amazing. I'm so glad that we got to read those alphabet poems together and talk about letters. 
I love reading poems with you and playing all those silly games. You're amazing. I'll see you again later.